we're going to have now Ligia telling us about the program and how we can be engaged these days. Podem colocar. Sorry, I'm waiting for the presentation. Well, but I can start. Okay, on behalf of the team and Giotta, of the team Rios Livres and Giotta, we really want to say welcome. <laughs> and we are thrilled to have you here in Portugal at Fundação Carlos Slovenkian for this huge event, the European River Summit in Lisbon. Welcome to the summit where our rivers play the most important role. We are here together to discuss, to reflect, and come up with some new ideas for the protection of our rivers and rivers ecosystem. Thank you. <laughs> so we want to provide you moments of sharing knowledge, of reflection about problems and opportunities for rivers and to design strategies for river protection. In this summit, we, we intend to integrate several knowledge, giving voice to all people that are interested in protecting our rivers. We are going to hear activism stories coming from different parts of the world, dipping into NGOs work, which we hope will be an inspiration for new battles, for protecting rivers and learn with so many fantastic experts. So it's a privilege being here for a magnificent event like this the second edition of the European River Summit in Lisbon. So, okay, thank you. Okay, so all these issues, all these important issues are going to be framed by this incredible garden that surrounds us, the Gulbenkian's garden. I really, I really think that Gonzalo Ribeiro Teles, an amazing landscape architect who passed away in the last year, when designed this magnificent garden in the 16s, would be proud for us to be here all together for such an important cause. In fact, we have the privilege, we have the privilege of uh, uh, to be in the most emblematic gardens of the modern, modern movement in Portugal and a reference for Portuguese landscape architecture. So the, the main goal of this summit is to share knowledge, network, and plan together to defend and protect rivers, one of the most engaged ecosystems in the world. We believe it will be a moment of sharing and learning from one another and bringing together a voice about the protection of the European rivers. May this voice rise and arrive to more of us, including public entities, sorry, that can assume and bring this topic forward in a sustainable direction. So we... We will learn a lot about activism for the protection of rivers, river protection related to climate change, impacts on fresh water, and perverse public subsidies on dams, river restoration measures, dam removal, and environmental justice. You can attend to scientific talks, learn with practical cases, and with the experience of the activism from all over the world. This event will be divided into sessions. The first one, the rise of the heroes, where we can hear about stories of activists for our river protection around the world, followed by the dark side of the force, 
impacts of dams, their perverse subsidies and loans, and relation to climate change. Next, we have the battle of for Europe, the struggle for free flow rivers in Europe by the organizers. In the context of Portugal, we are going to have examples of environmental activism related to rivers in Portugal, activism for rivers in Portugal. Then the force is among us, is going to bring knowledge shared in open talks, in the open talks by activists or experts from the public. The new hope session, the last one before the closed session, will be a, a, a round table moderated by Annet, well, Annet, <laughs> <laughs> from your Nature Foundation regarding tools for rivers run fr freely, law enforcement and advocacy. To close the panel of sessions, we are going to discuss about alternatives like river restoration, dam removal, and alternatives to dam construction. And now, uh, how is going to flow? Well, uh, after the, 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 the sessions, we are going to, to, to have a moment of discussion. Uh, uh, whereas the importance of sharing ideas and knowledge, in the end of each panel, we will have a 30 minutes discussion where all of us can ask questions, share some ideas, discuss new ones, identify opportunities, reflect on problems, suggest solutions, well, and what you want. So after the discussion, after the discussion, we'll have uh, 30 minutes of coffee break. Well, I uh, uh, mentioned that, uh, that the, the coffee break because it's very important to do networking. We suggest that, it, that this could be a moment to networking and to get, getting to know each and every one. We'll just emphasize that the coffee breaks will be in the room next to the auditorium, near the auditorium. And to minimize COVID problems, we invite you to enjoy the garden in these moments, in these poses. Regarding to lunches, inform you that a vegan lunch will be served, not today, tomorrow. <laughs> And like the coffee breaks, gardens are the best place to contemplate and nature and enjoy the sun of Portugal. So, well, we also propose a post-it session to promote a Red Nat for Nature campaign. And you will have the opportunity during the Battle for Europe uh, session to learn more about this campaign and participate actively subscribing the document that is just next to the, the, the main door of this auditorium. In, and in this place, during all days of the summit, you will have a board where you can share by writing and leaving the, there the post-its, your suggestions, ideas, and reflections. So in addition, to complement this, we are going to have a social problem uh, ooh, as a part of the social problem, we are going to have the River Film Fest at Teatro da Luz, uh, organized by Michael Bender and Tobias Scaffer. Okay, sorry. And uh, an art exhibition by the Guarda Rios Collective in uh, nearby Alvalade. Well, dinners also uh, uh, are suggest some restaurants and pre-booked uh, uh, nearby the, the, the two places of the River Fest and art exhibition. Well, now for finish some logistic issues, we have uh, available a web app as a dedicated platform for the European River Summit. You can assess to online program, access to direct transmission, speakers information, share photos, videos, ideas, post comments, send message, make notes and highlight favorite themes or access to speakers presentations in the end of the summit. So we really want you to enjoy it. And now is time to a coffee break and you could, if you could come back here 
to the next session will be the light. Thank you and welcome to everyone. We're going to come back sharp on four, at 4.30. Four so we appreciate that you come back on time. So also another group from another uh, conference can enjoy the space in Gulbenkian. This is a specific request from Gulbenkian so that we come back on time. So see you at 4.30. And thank you so much, everyone that spoke and everyone that is there. <laughs>